Yo, Wagwan, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to export stems and track outs from your FL Studio session in seconds. So stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music production, YouTube marketing, and online business. In, well, I already told you what we're gonna do in this video, so let's just jump into it. Now, I've got a beat over here that I made a little while ago. I think, I'm, I'm, I think I've recorded a video while I made it. I don't know if that will be out by the time this is out. Highly unlikely. But I'm gonna show you how to get your stems out in seconds. Now, what some people do is they'll just mute each mixer track and you know go through that long thing or record them out or whatever. But it's really, really easy to do this. Just go to your file up here on the top left go to export and then you want to export as a wave file and then once you get here but honestly before doing this you need to make sure that your mixer tracks are named correctly if your mixer tracks are not named correctly then it's going to be very long for you to deal with these stems you want to name them correctly because they will be basically the names of your stems because each of the mixer tracks will be bounced out separately so name those mixer tracks guys <laughs> make sure you're being organized before you even think about bouncing the stems but once you do this you just need to pick a place where you want to bounce it so i'm gonna i'm gonna create a place called test right about now so i can just put my test stuff in here to like show you how to do stuff so test in here and then in here, I'm going to create a new folder for this particular beat stems. So we're gonna write the name of the beat and then write stems or whatever. Like generally I'll write the whole file name so that I can just easily, like I know what file this connects back to. So if I ever like lose the, the main file, I can find like the original file that I start off with, which is generally just the date and the key of the song. So. That's probably some stuff that you don't care about, so let's keep it moving. <laughs> now, let's just press save. We go into the folder that we wanna save in and we just click save. And then we will get the option of how we actually want to export this. And what we basically wanna do is click this split mixer track button down here. And if you've never exported before, then let's quickly walk through what you generally want the, the export to be like. You want this to be a full song. You want this to leave remainder. You want to pick WAV, you don't need MP3 stems, no one wants that. <laughs> You can let, let leave your um, WAV bit depth on 24 bit. Resampling are set at 32 points. But well, honestly, we can we can put that a little bit higher. Maybe I'll go to 256. I don't really don't really use that. This doesn't really mean much to me. So maybe you go 512. Why not? Just go the high, highest quality. Like that's generally what you want to do. And then down here. You don't really need to save note markers, but why not save all this stuff so that if anyone's import, basically what this does is this saves information to these audio files so that if you import these audio files in uh, DAW, then it can find that information. So when I created loops from FL Studio and I imported those loops into Adobe Audition, it knew the tempo and I think that was pretty much all it needed to know. So yeah, it I saved the tempo information there. So we wanna enable insert effects, enable master effects, all that sort of stuff, cause we want it to be bounced how we want it to sound. Although people can still add their effects on it and, and all that sort of stuff. And, it, and I think that the mixer tracks are gonna be really, really low. You won't really, hair the um, master effects yeah master effects don't really matter but because i've enabled this it will bounce the master track with the stems so that if someone is downloading the stems they can quickly you know hair the master track to hear how the track was supposed to sound so you want to click split mix the tracks and that is the big big choice that needs to be made so that you actually get your stems and then just click start now <clears throat> i don't know if this will mess up 
because I'm exporting and trying to record audio at the same time. So hopefully this doesn't, but this technically doesn't take seconds. It? <laughs> this will take like a minute or two. Technically that is seconds cause you know, a minute, 60 seconds. And I could say, you know, it's taking 400 seconds, but the title of the video, I think it's either going to be in seconds or in minutes. I'm not hundred percent sure which one I'm going to go with. If it's in seconds, then disclaimer, it takes seconds to actually set up the, you know, split mixer tracks and then go and do whatever you want to do in the meantime while this is doing. Maybe you could do background rendering, but honestly, I've never tried that out. I don't know what that's going to do. I don't know what the CPU said. FL Studio uses a lot of CPU. That's why you don't see me on camera right about now. But we're going to come back when this is done because, you know, this this is a waste of both our time, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I don't want to waste your time and show you the whole thing like, going to the end. So I'll be right back. Okay, everything has been exported. Now all we need to do is go to the correct file. So let's go to the correct file. We need to basically go back to exports. Where's my exports? Give me a sec. <laughs> Here we go. Test Bandito stems. And your stems will come out like this, a bunch of WAV files. But if you're trying to upload this to somewhere like BeatStars or Airbit or even your own website, you don't want someone downloading a bunch of web files. You want them downloading a zip file and then exporting it. It's just better for, you know, customer experience. And those sites generally re require you to do that unless you're doing it on your own website. So first of all, we want to get rid of anything that's not actually playing in the song because depending on, you know, if I don't know, sometimes it exports stuff that didn't play in the song and sometimes it doesn't. So let's just go to um, the chorus and listen quickly over here and we'll see if any of these things are not playing. So Counter Melody doesn't play, but that does play over there. We pretty much got everything in there. If you want to grab this beat it is in the description down below just letting you know but let's continue going so everything basically is useful here we don't really need the buses but i just leave them in there because you know someone might want to use the bus but generally they, they probably won't <laughs> but like the melodies bus is useful in it the riser bus and uh, like a bus that only has one thing going to it that isn't so useful i don't think I might even stop just having those buses. The only reason I had those buses is because I saw that in some tutorial, they were just rooting stuff to buses and saying that it sounds better, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessary to root one thing to a bus, but it depends what effects you're putting on the stuff actually, that does change stuff. So yeah, we've got everything we need. Now we just select everything and then we right click and then we got a menu that says, uh, well, this is all the options. Then we go to send to, and then go to compressed zip folder, and then just click that left click. And this will compress all your stems. And now this will take an, another, you know, minute or two. You can go do something else again. You know, as I said, when I said seconds, <laughs> I was talking about, you know, getting everything started. I don't even know if I'm going to have the title saying in seconds now because, you know, all these minutes, they add up in it. <laughs> but it is less minutes than, um, you know, doing it all one by one. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that this was a possible thing. I didn't want anyone to mistake this for that type of thing. If I said like in minutes, it might have been, you know, that long way in it. So I don't know. I don't know what the title of this video is, but... <laughs> Let me, let me not waste your time with all this rambling. Let's get back to, you know, showing you this. Well, basically, it's the zip file, isn't it? When the zip file is done, you just rename it by clicking on it once and then clicking on it again. And then I would just name it, you know, the beat name and then stems. 
but I don't think I can actually do that until yeah I can't actually do that until it's actually named I mean it's actually finished exporting and compressing so basically you just name that and then you've got your stems exported or track outs whatever you want to refer them to as you got them all exported and ready to go ready to upload to BeatStars you just drag this in there or Airbit or your own website and ready for people to download I hope this video helped you out before you go i want to let you know that there are a bunch of helpful links in the description down below if you want to you know buy beats or see the tools that i use or you can come to my website and you know go to the, the tools i use over here go to jcartray.com all that sort of stuff you can grab a beat grab this free course that'll teach you the five most important steps to YouTube success is how I stopped being a starving artist, how I was able to basically make my content work for me so that I have the freedom to go and pursue this music thing. And you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing this music stuff. So if you want to be able to do that yourself, you wanna learn how it's done, then go through this free course. Just go to jcartarray.com forward slash free course to go to the main page, but you can get it up here as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But before I go, I do have a question of the day. My question of the day is how long have you been producing? Because you're, you're watching a video about stems or, or maybe you're not a producer. Maybe you're an engineer. Let me know how long you've been producing, engineering, rapping, singing, anything. Let me know in the description and not the description, the comment section down below. It'd be very interesting. Let's, you know, build this musical community, man. I want to work with more musicians and see what's going on and all that sort of stuff. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below and definitely sign up to that free course. You'll also be added to my daily email list where I'm dropping a bunch of gems over there and you definitely don't want to miss that. I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music production, YouTube marketing, or online business. Peace out.